Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma, along with Agriculture Minister Amperin Lingdo, on Wednesday inspected the ongoing potato seed production program at Bio Resource Development Centre in Upper Shillong. The project, titled as Seed Secure Meghalaya, establishment of low-cost formal and informal potato seed production system to enhance food security and income generation, is an initiative of the government that aims to increase potato seed production and cultivation in the state and market the high-yielding varieties of potato to markets across the northeastern region and beyond. The Meghalaya Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan Schools Association, MSSASA, held a meeting with Education Minister Rakam Sangma on Wednesday to discuss various issues concerning the well-being of SSA teachers in Meghalaya. MSSASA President Aristotle Rambai expressed gratitude to the government for taking the initiative to implement direct payment of salaries to the bank accounts of SSA teachers. He acknowledged the efforts of the Education Minister, Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong, and the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance for fulfilling the long-standing demand of SSA teachers regarding direct salary payments. Tripura Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Ratan Lal Nath on Wednesday said that a special exhibition of Tripura's Queen Pineapple will be held in New Delhi on Thursday to draw more buyers from the national markets. According to Nath, the product has received wide appreciation after being exported to countries like Dubai, Qatar and Germany. The Queen variety of pineapple is an exclusive horticulture produce grown in Tripura and the only GI tag product from the state. Mizoram police seized fake Indian currency notes with a face value of Rs 25.2 lakh from the possession of two persons in Kola Seb district, an officer said on Wednesday. Acting on specific inputs, a police team arrested the two persons identified as Lal Tan Pui, age 42, a resident of Vairangte and Lalmung Moana, age 40, of N. Van Lai Pai village in Sarjip district. The arrests were made at Vairangte in the Kola Seb district near the Assam border on Tuesday. China on Wednesday sought the help of several countries to rescue 39 people who were on board a Chinese fishing vessel that sank in the Indian Ocean. 39 people, including 17 Chinese crew members, 17 Indonesians and 5 from the Philippines were on board the Chinese fishing vessel that capsized in the central part of the Indian Ocean on Tuesday. The Chinese Foreign Ministry has contacted the relevant departments in Australia, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Indonesia, the Philippines and other countries to join the search and rescue operations. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. Hub